Do you believe nicotine is not addictive? Nicotine is not addictive. Nicotine is not addictive. I believe nicotine is not addictive. For the first time, a clear signal to the nation that we're serious about protecting kids from tobacco. Today, for the first time, the federal government replaced rhetoric with substance. Today, it's estimated that four and a half million of our children and adolescents smoke. That's why FDA took bold action to protect our children from the dangers of tobacco. Four of the largest tobacco companies agreed to settle the state's cases in a master agreement. Which is really the beginning of the end for the way the tobacco industry has treated the American public. The nation's attorneys general have been fighting to help reverse the staggering toll tobacco takes. We're going to leave this here for you so you can see what 1,200 people actually look like. I don't think there's anything that will have the kind of impact that this legislation will have. We literally will save tens of thousands of lives. U.S. District Court Judge Gladys Kessler issued a landmark verdict. A federal lawsuit finally made Big Tobacco cough up the truth. It's the end result of a Justice Department racketeering lawsuit against Big Tobacco. FDA's action can play a major role in breaking the gruesome cycle that seduces millions of teenagers. We're about to enact truly historic legislation to protect the public health. We've got the crew from the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids. This legislation will save American lives and make Americans healthy. CBS just announced it will no longer sell cigarettes and tobacco products. We believe this is the right decision for our company. It positions us to play a bigger role in our evolving healthcare system. There's been a huge surge of high schoolers vaping. A Surgeon General sounding the alarm on e-cigarettes. Flavored tobacco products are widely considered to be starter products because they mask the flavor of tobacco. They make it easier to become lifelong users. Children as young as eight years old were targeted by Juul. Over 20% of high school students now vape. And what was the role of Juul in the dramatic rise in vaping? These kids are using this addictive nicotine product of vaping, and they're using it because they're offering flavors like bubble gum designed specifically to entice children. We are taking strong action to protect America's children as we pass legislation to confront the growing youth tobacco crisis. When African Americans are disproportionately dying from a substance heavily distributed and targeted to our communities, we cannot sit back and watch people die right in front of us. A newly introduced bill would ban flavored tobacco sales statewide, including menthol cigarettes and flavored e-cigs. Vote for this bill. Protect our children from horrible habit that will devastate their lives and take the best of them.